Last week, we watched Welcome to Wrexham and were so inspired by the women's team, their stories and their struggles, we decided to go and watch them play, show them our support and, of course, make a short film about it. This is not a postcard and a pint usual. It's just something we wanted to do this week. Enjoy. But first, we needed to go to Wrexham as we needed some new merch. We'd booked our tickets online, so that was all good. Wills, will you explain now exactly why we needed some new merch? We've had to come to the club shop for a new scarf, because if you saw our last Wrexham video, I gave it away, because I'm too nice. <laughs> oh my God, babe. Woo! I love you, mate. <laughs> yes, we met some Wrexham fans from Billingham, and Wills made a present of his scarf. There were plenty to choose from. Did you find one, lad? Yay! And I couldn't resist a new bobbler. Now this was interesting to know. Something else to note if you're coming to a women's home game, we've just found out now that even though we've booked our tickets online, there's no facilities at the ground where the girls play. So we've actually picked our tickets up in the shop. Well, next to the shop, actually. And the new floodlights seem to be the world's biggest birdhouses. Then it was the next day. Well, the ground isn't the easiest to find. We've gone round twice, round Rossa Medry. We've found a free car park. We've dumped the car. We're going to walk. We've got what three words up. We'll see if we can find it. Rossa Medry is a very small village near Wrexham. Stone was once mined here. The stones that built the Tlangotlan Canal. But we were here for football. As I said earlier in the video, we watched the episode of Welcome to Wrexham this week that was all about the ladies' team. And we thought, you know what? We need to find more about it. We want to support them. Wills went online to buy the tickets. £3 is all we paid. £3 each to watch the match. On the way here, we've been trying to think of something that you can buy or that will entertain you for three quid. We couldn't think of anything at all. And it's a tough game today. It's against Cardiff. This is a very football-focused village with the youth pitch in the centre. After a quick stroll through the high street, past the local pub, it was time to find the Rock Stadium. Now, have you got everything? Rachel's armed with a bobbler, but guess who forgot his scarf? Ooh. Idiot. Now, the lady in the shop had said there would only be a table for ticket collection. She lied. There was a full-on truck, so ticket collection is easy. And the game was being televised on S4C. The stadium is called The Rock, and aptly so. It sits in the former Rosa Medre quarry. This ground is actually the home of Kevin Druid's football club, but from this season, Wrexham women's team also use it as their home ground. And today, S4C TV are here to film the match. Wrexham were the first team out to warm up. In 2021, the Welsh FA announced a new Tier 2 league split into Adran North and Adran South. In February 2023, Wrexham announced that they had applied for a Tier 1 licence and would become semi-professional if they gained promotion to the Adran Premier. They won the Adran 1 League in April 2023 and are now in the Adran Premier, the highest league for women's football in Wales at the moment. So far, they're top of the league and haven't lost a game this season. Continuing to follow shortly, and you can read today's digital matchday programme online, featuring the thoughts of manager Steve Dale and also Lily Jones as well as recap. Just before the game started, this lovely moment happened. Thank you all so much. We're over the moon. Now let's get this game on. <laughs> Cardiff City have been in this league since it became Adran Premier. They are also the defending champions. This is going to be tough. Don't forget, you've got to make loads of noise. Here we go! If you want to stand out on TV at a football game, wear green when everyone else is wearing red. There we are. Both sides started really strongly, although we did think Wrexham had taken out Cardiff's goalie in the first few minutes. Cunning plan. Rosie Hughes is Wrexham's top goal scorer. She scored more goals than Paul Mullin for the club. Today, she lost her boot in a tackle. Come on, Rosie, let's get back to scoring goals. It got pretty tense a few times in the first half. But Wrexham just couldn't find the back of the net. Unfortunately, though, 
Cardiff did. Of all the games played in the Adran Premier this day, this was the highest attended game with over 700 there. It's not a lot compared to the men's game, but... It's a start, and with Robin Ryan's investment not only in the women's first team, but in the youth development squad, Wrexham are surely going places. On June the 27th, 2023, the club announced that 10 players had signed semi-professional contracts, a first in the club history. So half-time and 1-0 down. You can do this, girls. Cardiff City also turned semi-professional this season and all of their senior squad are now on semi-professional contracts. This is a massive leap forward for Welsh women's football. This was an unfortunate moment and pretty soon it was 2-0 Cardiff. Cardiff was showing just why they are the reigning Adran Premier and FAW Cup champions. Wrexham kept on fighting though and they came close many times. So many times. A problem with having your stadium in a quarry is that the ball can get lost up the cliffs. He got one of the biggest cheers of the evening. Go on, my son. Then the team regrouped. They did look tired by now, and as much as we all wanted a win, it wasn't to be. It was 3-0, and Wrexham were on for their first loss of the season. And of course, whenever you're at a game, Welcome to Wrexham is filming. So spoiler alert, it looks like Series 3 has been commissioned. Wrexham kept on running and fighting, they were determined it wasn't going to be four. Soon it was the last few minutes and then the final whistle. We were so glad we'd come to watch and we're now hooked on seeing their progress, not only for this season, but for the future. Robin Ryan said on Welcome to Wrexham that first it was Wales for these girls then it's the world, and we can't wait to buckle up and follow that ride. And the youth development squad aren't looking too shabby either. Thanks for an absolutely brilliant night, and best of luck to all of you. Cheers.